to the replay and welcome to my live for this Thursday night, May the 2nd. Somehow, I have music. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. We're going to do a fun, quick, easy way to customize some of your um, drink cups for the summertime or for any time, but these specifically are for the summertime. So this is always a popular one. We are going to have fun doing this one. It's going to be so easy. You're going to be like, why haven't I done this before? But have no fear. I am all good. Wow. Look at you guys. Diana, hello, and Pamela, and Lori, and Darcy. Welcome. Dawn Marie and Shannon, howdy, howdy. And Cheryl and Kara and Debbie, my goodness. We've got the whole crew. This must be the time. The time and why, there we go. And Gail, hi Gail, and other Gail, hi two Gails. And Nancy. And Terry Kirchhoff, howdy, howdy. Okay. This needs to make a silent. Gotta be silent. Okay. All right. We are winding down the week. Robin, what? I won one of Brenda's drawings? Ah, I have not been on social media all day. <laughs> I've been so busy at school. Hi, Elena. <gasps> Thank you. You know, this is like a super... T this is like a t-shirt material and I love it and then I just throw on this um, little like cover-up that I love it just makes me very comfortable <laughs> oh Cheryl my goodness I need to get on Brenda's um, group and see what I won if I if I if it was really me that is exciting I never win anything all right so today I have these sweet little Moscow Mule Cups. Now, they're not copper. They are like a silver, but um, they're all white with silver. And so I'm going to put a little flare. We're going to make them some um, summer fun cups. So a secret, my husband and I are shopping for a new camper. Well, we don't have one, so it will be new no matter what. Um, and so I have to, you know, start thinking of things that I'm going to put in the camper and Moscow Mule Cups. These will be super fun to use. And I'm going to have to like have coordinating things that are really, really cute, you know. I'm trying to get my transfer out of the package to show you. And I've like ripped the bag four times. Yay. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I never win anything. That is exciting. Now I'm like really itching to go see what I won. This is the transfer I'm going to be using. It's our um, seriously the best bang for your buck transfer because you get 12 different designs for $14.99. So if you don't have this, like we always have one of those because it's really, really great and easy to use for beginners. And it's just downright fun to be able to add little bits to things so if you don't have one of those you want to make sure to grab one just for projects like what I'm doing tonight but also um the possibilities are truly endless I'm going to grab some washcloths that I can kind of um roll up as like a little um barrier for these cups now some of these cups got a little bit like scratched I don't know how or why but I'm gonna try to cover that up with some of our ink okay so let's let me focus oops I'm so sorry So sorry, I uh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Hi, Leanne. <laughs> oh, so these cups, I hate to say, are like a year old, and I'm pretty sure they were from my friend Sam's club. 
he, um, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's where they were from. In fact, I know that's where they were from. It's just that I got them a long time ago and I never used them. So I don't know if they still have them, but you know, they've been coming out with a lot of like metallic things. So with our, uh, with these, I'm going to do the ink and I'm going to bake it. So we're going to have quite a few steps, but you're not necessarily going to see it all. So the first things first, I need to figure out which uh, things I'm going to put on here. And I definitely want vacay because as a teacher and anyone, summer is vacay. <laughs> anyone who takes off in the summertime, literally, it is vacay. So, since I'm about to take a permanent of vacay, I'm very excited just to be able to put that on there. So, I'm cutting up just a few of these. I have to have this one that says, less Monday, more summer. And it has a fun pineapple on it. Okay, so we got to do that one for sure. Vacay, less Monday, more um, summer, we could do, I don't really want to do red, white, and blue. I have a whole theme for red, white, and blue, so I don't want to do that one. I could do, I think I'm going to do sun, please, but we're not going to do it in yellow. We're going to do it in like this fun color that I am going to make. So, you know how I love guava. Well, guava is like an awesome color. It is like my favorite, one of my favorite. Hi, Karen. Both Karens. Howdy, howdy. And Jeannie, permanent vacation. So, um, this is going to be my last year teaching. I haven't actually announced it yet like to the world. Um, in fact, I have 40, I just finished my 42nd day today. So 41 days left officially in my teaching current situation. And I'm going to be a work at home mom. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's like a dream come true. So I'm very excited about that. And I think we will do... Oh, we'll do tropical vibes because all summer long, I do get tropical vibes, even though I live in Michigan. Nowhere. Nowhere tropical. Hi, Florence. And Elizabeth, hey. Welcome. I know you posted a question. I need to get on the group and respond. I have been so ridiculous with work today because... I had to do, remember when I was sick, I had to do makeup conferences. <clears throat> so we did those today and earlier this week. Ah, <sighs> but now I'm done. Well, thank you, Jeannie. Oh, thank you, Terry. Thank you, Robin. It's very exciting, you guys. Like, I can't even. I've been teaching for 21 years. Well, and just, I started when I was 12. So, I know. Like, I way too young to be teaching that long but it's true this is my I just, i'm finishing my 21st year of teaching which is crazy to even think because i still feel like i'm like like i don't i don't know like i still feel like i'm young and hip and new in my career i don't feel like i've been teaching for that long well, you know, when you start when you're 12, it goes whew, so fast. <clears throat> I Just saying. Well, exactly, you guys. I am morphing my education background into this. Just a little different way. And the cool thing is I really, really will get to really support my kids more than I ever have before. Um, think of... I know that like everyone works and it's hard for everyone, but I never got to be that mom who got to volunteer for their kids 
field trips or anything. Never got to be there on the first day of school. That's gonna be exciting. Try not to cry. Never got to. You know, except for when my kids went to my school. Like I, some of them went with me. Oh my gosh, I have to stop talking because I'm gonna like tear up. It's so exciting. Okay. Look what you made me do. Now I sound like Taylor Swift. Okay. You lost me. Hopefully I'm not lost forever. I hope you can go out and come back in. Don't tell me we're having issues today because that will just make me cry. All right. It looks like I'm okay. I'm just going to keep this up so that I can see it and then... I'll know if you lose me. All right, so let's get working on this. Major important thing we have to, ah, all of my, um, you made me ink. That's exactly right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love Dory. Okay, I love Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, whatever that one was from. Okay. Um, I think this will be a good one for that. Less Monday, more summer. <gasps> okay, so we really want to fuzz a lot because this is metal, super shiny, really stick, really stick. Everything is okay. Oh, good. Tears are just memories. <sighs> I'm telling you. Personally, wanting to be like wanting to be there on special days for my kids and be the one to like either take them to school or drop them off, get a picture with their new teacher, you know, the elementary kids, not the high school kids, because the high school kids, let's just face it, they don't want mom. <laughs> Hardly ever. Um, but the elementary kids, yeah. So I'll get to take Easton to his first day of kindergarten, Ryan to his first grade of fifth grade. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for myself. <laughs> Anyway, oh, I'm putting this, I'm totally jumping the gun, but that's all right. I'm going to put this on. I need to get my ink ready. And the fun thing tonight is I need to mix a color because I really want to use like a guava color, but I don't have one for ink. We don't have that exact color. So, all right, now I'm going to show you something. Cups are rounded, right? So I'm gonna lift this up. Actually, I probably, let's zoom in a little so you guys can see more of what I'm doing. And I'm gonna scooch this up. Okay, now make sure I am keeping this up here. <gasps> Natalie, thank you. Well, Lisa, that's awesome too. And I have like pledged to my children that they promise to come back to me after college. I will be the best grandma in the whole world. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what else to promise. I just, oh my gosh. I now know what it feels like to not want them to go. But anyway, so what you can see this wrinkle, totally fine because this part is, is, okay and wrinkle free but because the cup is rounded and you want it sucked down this wrinkle will come out I promise I've done this a million times um, but everything else is smooth it's just you need a kind of a part that will get wrinkled when you're doing a curvy surface so oh thanks Margaret <clears throat> 30 years working in August where did the time go Karen you must have started when you were 12 too because I'm telling you I don't see it I know I don't see it on myself. All right, so I've pulled a couple colors that I'd like to mix and try to get a guava color. This is papaya and couture coral. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my, get a little mixing cup. And I don't wanna mix too much of this because I always say that, but then I always mix more than I need. But let's try this. And I'll try to get it right here. Oh, you guys. Let me do something. <laughs> I missed you, so I wanted to come back. Okay, so let's do it like this. 
we'll put a little bit of couture coral and then so you know how I measure like just a scoop using okay a scoop and I am not paying attention to the colors in nature okay I really don't care what color pineapple is I want I'm gonna do two of these in this color I'm gonna do these two and then my tropical and my vacay are going to be in tide because I love tide I love it I love it I love it all right now we're gonna do our papaya so I'm curious any of have any of you tried mixing colors in the past have you like gotten crazy like that just curious and tell me if you were successful when you did it my screen where I watch oh I'm sorry so here we go it is turning I probably could have put a little orange in here. Do I have orange? You know, I don't, I would have to go get some orange. But this is really nice. It's like a much more muted, you can kind of see how it looks like couture coral a little. All right, so what we're gonna do is, the only thing, oh gosh. Part of me wants to make it glittery. What do you guys think? Well, no, 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 because no, because it's silver up here. Never mind. I got, I let my um, imagination get the best of me. I don't want it glittery. I've changed my mind. Okay, back to getting some inking done. Let's get this all smoothed out and get our little um I'm blurry I'm so sorry Tracy I wonder if it will come back for you hopefully it will love mixing colors Karen yes me too mix blue and yellow to make green that's always an easy one can do different tones of green too awesome I'm glad you guys like mixing colors little chemist artist at home oh elizabeth that's awesome that is so great yeah no glitter because of the silver like i completely forgot about that now i just have to be careful when we get down here and then making sure that i have no lines looking good and the the trick with a solid surface and ink is pulling off your transfer slowly now I'm gonna scrape this off and then I'm gonna get a little bit more off of there okay set this inside there and then I'm gonna peel slowly from this side oops I see a line I don't know how I didn't catch that. If you peel slowly, so, oh my gosh, every time, I'm just pulling it. Every time I um, pulled with a squeegee, it was making a mark. So if you go slow, Natalie, I made rose gold. I have a bunch of rose gold um, that I made using our ink before we had the chalk. All right. <gasps> what did I do by the U? Oh, something. There possibly could have been a bubble. So here's the cool thing. Ink stays wet for a long time. So you can see my little error there by the U. I'm going to fix it. 
I have these awesome tools that are super pointy um, cotton swabs. And I'm just going to, with a steady hand, as best I can, clean this area. Oh, I get so nervous when I have to go close up. Hello, Stephanie. How's it going tonight? Okay, now I got most of that clean. Excellent, and there's a tiny line here. Okay, so when I was pulling the transfer up and I was going really slow, it's because the ink is wet and it will splatter if you aren't careful. So um, here it is. Now I'm, it, it's perfect and I want to Dry it a little with my dryer. And I would suggest you guys do the same thing. You're not gonna get it to dry 100% this way. It's easier to dry it on fabric than it is to dry it on a solid surface. So let me show you if I have the instructions. Um, no, that's not the instruction, I'm sorry. I may not have the instructions up here, so what I'll do is I will just tell you. No, I think I took them down. You're gonna let this dry at least 24 hours. So you can pre-dry it, which is what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna set it in a place. I'm not gonna touch it to see if it's dry. I'm gonna set it in a place that I know it's not gonna get touched and um, then I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours. Tomorrow or Saturday morning, what I'll do is so like 24 or 36 hours later, I will put it in the oven. Um, if you're using your oven, like your regular oven, you turn the heat to, with these that are painted, you're gonna go to 300 degrees you're gonna set your timer for 40 minutes for zero, and you're gonna put them into the cold oven and let it go for 40 minutes. When the buzzer goes off, turn off your oven, leave everything in it. Let your oven completely cool naturally. Let these cool down. Once these are cooled, take them out. Easy peasy. 300 for any of the painted metal the painted metal things. Why? If it's glass and it's not painted, 350 is our desired temperature, but some of the paint literally can burn. Um, I had some orange paint discolor at 350. So I just lowered it to 300, put it in for an extra 10 minutes. It works perfect. The things that I use of mine, and when I make these, I use them and I use them, I have two metal tumblers that I use every other day, and I wash them in the dishwasher. The paint from the metal tumblers, and I've been using them for a year, um, almost every other day for a year, and because uh, they're my favorite travel mugs. The paint is starting to peel, but the chalk couture design is perfect. So I just want you to know that it does last. I mean, it's lasting longer than my actual travel mug. So that's kind of cool to know. Um, so my system works. I just want you to know it's tried and true, 300 for 40 minutes. Now I actually don't use my oven. I have a um, toaster oven that I bought. It's like a big one. Um, not huge, but it fits multiple of these at one time. And so I took the middle rack out and I just put the bottom rack in and I so it's taller. And I put these in there. Now those don't heat up like an oven. They get pretty hot instantly, pretty instantly. So I just put them in at 300, set my timer for 40 minutes. Same thing. It's a little different. All right. So I'm going to set this aside. 
and I'll start my next one and I won't talk so much. Hi, Barb and Florence. Did I already, oh, I already said hi to you guys. Where did I get the pointy Q-tips? So totally at my local like um, drugstore. I went, they're in the makeup section, believe it or not. So they're actually makeup Q-tip type things. I, they're not Q-tip brand. I know that's a brand, um, but they are not Q-tip brand. They're different. You can find them there. I bet you could find them online. It's a really great tool, the pointy ones. So um, the, the um, mugs are kind of old. I'm sorry. I, they're kind of old. I bought them last year at um, Sam's Club. And I don't know if they still have them like this. They may, but yeah, yeah, you know, not really advertising for Sam's Club. I'm just saying that that is where these particular mugs came from, but you could find them anywhere. I have also seen them at, um, Oh no, I've also seen them with different colors. Do you like how my brain is not working tonight? Oh my gosh. This one is gonna be a toughie. And I wonder if, oh jeez. I wonder if I chalk, or I mean I um, ink half of it and then lift and then lay this down. Actually, I would probably only need to lift this much. If I ink part of it, let's see how that works. If I just ink this part, and then I lift that up, and I trade it. Places. So I'm just going to hope that this works. <gasps> I'm betting on that it's gonna work, so hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. Okay, just gotta make sure there are no lines here. like I said before you do see the lines I'm gonna come in with like a bigger one and try to smooth that out <clears throat> okay oh Kelly yep you'll have to grab the replay for sure Okay, not bad. I do have one little spot because of this. So this is quite a large area of screen. So for me, I remember you saw what I had to do. If you had a larger cup, you probably would have a better job um, flattening that out. Now I am going inside <laughs> inside these letters. So can you see the please, how it's like the A? Well, that's what I am carefully wiping away. And the more you practice, the better you get. And that goes for anything. And I know you guys know that. But um, make sure when you start, oh, for all my Canadian friends who are about to order their stuff, when you get your stuff and you start, or any of my newbies, 
make sure that you practice. Literally, practice till you can't practice no more. Because nothing will make you comfortable with it until you've done things, you've made mistakes, you've figured out how to fix mistakes, or you wash it off and try again. It is my best advice to anyone when you start Practice on the reusable surfaces, the washable surfaces, and then, um, I mean, nobody wants to, you know, wash things off and do over, but just purpose, purposefully practice. We'll look you up. Leslie, I will be there. Yes, I will. Are you all coming? Are the, are, are, is your whole gang coming? I, that will be awesome to see you. Oh, just the travel mugs. Did you look online? Okay, so I think this is pretty good. Sun, please. All right, so I'm gonna set, um, dry it a little. My tip of the Q-tip is dry. Especially, so, when it's still wet, you want to have it dry because that's going to be, honestly, your best bet to get um, the stuff wiped off because when it's wet, I mean, when it's dry, it stays pointy and when it's wet, it expands and it, and it doesn't stay pointy. So only time I wet it is usually when I'm working with chalk and I need to because the chalk has dried. So then I have to be really careful. All right, so I'm gonna set this one aside. Get so nervous. I'm gonna put these away. So I'm done with this color. I'm only making four cups. Well, goodness, I have all this fun color left. Dropping everything into my water bucket. Okay, get that sealed. And this one. Now we need our tide color. That is over here. Awesome. I would love to see you and Diane. Um, I will be there every day. <clears throat> Shannon, I will have everything. Um, surfaces, squeegees, absolutely. Um, specifically, what are you looking for? Because I guess we won't have every surface, but all the squeegees. Yes, me too, Laura. All right, let's get on with it. Let's do vacay. So, Janine, once these are baked in the oven, they are completely dishwasher washable. I just told a story of how the, um, some travel mugs that I had created for my coffee, I've been using them for a year, every other day, because I have two of them, so like I use one, wash it, I use the next one the next day, use it, wash it, dishwasher washable, and my... Um, like what you're calling the decals have stayed completely. I mean, you know they're not decals, but it's it's ink that is applied to the surface and then baked to heat set it. Vacay, vacay. So, like I said, when you're doing this, control the wrinkle. 
make sure that wherever it is wrinkled is outside of your um, silk screen area. Okay. Just around, absolutely. Yep, I got those. Um, I definitely, definitely will have those round boards. Okay. Let's go with a little, okay. There we go. And I'm just going to pick a little bit up out of the cap. Super easy that way. And we're just going to go on it, spread it out, kind of goes on like butter, you know, you just spread it and then start moving it. Once you get to that bottom, start checking all of the other places. Make sure that you've got it covered. No lines, no wrinkles. that back into the container. Oh, I got some on my, so when you're doing ink, make sure of all else that if you get it on yourself that you wash that like right away before touching anything. Okay, that's done. I need to wipe my thumb and I'm going to pull this off and I need to, gosh, I'm seeing like, crazy wrinkle. Okay, it's not a wrinkle. I'm going to go slow. How small are these? The jars of chalk or the jars of ink? Or, I mean, they're both the same. Or are you talking about this cup as a jar? I'm not sure what you're talking about. There, There's three ounces in each container, the paste and the chalk. I'm going very slow as to not fling or spray any ink as I lift. Beauty. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, I see two tiny things. And this, okay, so what you see me doing is normal. The ink is a thinner concoction than the chalk, way thinner. And so when you put even a sticky transfer down, there are times when um, a little tiny bit can like seep, a t I mean microscopic. And so all I'm doing is trying to smooth out and wipe away some of that microscopic stuff. There we go. And I have to concentrate when I do it. That's why I'm not talking. Okay, so we're gonna dry that. I love the vacay, the color. Oh, awesome. Yay! The Tide color is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. Like a dark teal, it's a dark turquoise, kind of a tealish color. Really does look like Tide laundry detergent. But it's pretty. I have one more. So Tamara, these mugs, I'm just gonna say it again. After this is heat, and because I don't have it up on my screen, so I feel bad, after this, I dry, I pre-dry it a little bit, I'm gonna set it aside for at least 24 hours, okay? Nobody touch it, stays in mom's area, nobody touch it for 24 hours, and um, 
<clears throat> None of this is ceramic. It's metal, okay? It's a metal cup. This is painted, it's a uh, paint. And then what we're doing is we are applying the ink via the transfer and drying it 100%. 24 hour dry time at least, it needs to be dried really well. Once it's dried, we pop it into a cold oven. We turn the oven to 300 degrees. Turn our timer to 40 minutes and walk away. When the timer goes off, you're going to turn the oven off but leave everything in it. Allow the mugs to cool down with the oven. Once the oven and the mugs have been cooled to room temperature, you can take the mugs out. And they are dishwasher safe. Um, everything is perfectly awesome. Everything is awesome. It's all, it's very cool. I have done this several, several times. I've come with the same results, really. I've done different things. The directions I'm giving you are specifically for a painted metal tumbler or surface like that. Um, are the transfers reusable? Oh, Janine, these transfers are reusable. So I'm putting them into a water bath right now to just kind of um, kind of clean them, pre-clean them while I work. And then I will wash them just with my hands, get the ink off of them. I will take them over here to my table and I will wipe them with a disinfectant wipe front and back. The back of the transfer, the sticky part, when you put it in the water, it is no longer sticky, and so you wash it like that. Once you use that disinfectant wipe, and I'm gonna demonstrate it for you since we've got some new people. Once you use that disinfectant wipe, you let the um, transfer air dry completely with the sticky side facing up. You never want your transfer to dry with the sticky side down because it will stick to the surface that it's on. So I will um, dry this a little bit and then I will show you super quickly. It depends on the kind of, okay. Neoka, I always forget if that's how I say your name. It depends on the type of glass. If it's glassware that you can bake, like I've done glass cookie jars, um, I've done glass like um, ball jars, those types of things, I bake them so I could use the ink. But if it's something like a picture frame piece of glass, I use chalk on that and it lasts forever. I mean it lasts and lasts as long as people aren't handling it, touching it, or getting it wet. All right, so this is my fourth one. If you all, if you came in a little late, I'm gonna show you. I have these two in the Tide and these two in the other color. So cute, love them. Let me, sh let me go back to my clean surface and show you what we're gonna do. So um, you can use your you can use a plastic table or any sort of um, like a nonstick mat or anything. But I'm just gonna take this. This is wet, and I wiped it off with my hands. So I'm just taking the four transfers that are in the water. Also, my little tools that I used um, were in the water too because those are. Those are getting cleaned too. <gasps> Aren't those mugs adorable, Jen? Um, okay. So plastic tumbler, not so much because you can't bake it. I'm really sorry. So plastic tumbler won't work because you cannot heat set it. 
and you could use chalk, but chalk will wash um, away. I'm very sorry. Um, so you really, for this type, this is a fun extra. So we are totally a, um, you know, chalking, high-end home decor company, but here are things you can do with our stuff that's awesome and it just makes like your stuff go farther. So these are good for um, guaranteed like eight to 12 uses and if they are um, cared for in the right way and you follow all the directions. So I just grabbed a disinfectant wipe. All I'm gonna do with this wipe is I'm gonna go over right now, these are the fronts, just kind of trying to get all of the ink off of it. This is exactly what you do when it's chalk too. Exactly the same thing. So just go, 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 go. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Now, I am going to flip them over. I do want to dry off the underneath with my towel. Now, there are ways to quickly, quickly dry these if you need to use them right away again. But we're not going to do that. I'm already done. So... Now I'm gonna take my cloth, still the same one, and I am wiping the back. Couple reasons. It does help get the lint off of here because I fuzzed these. Remember I, fuzz I stuck them to that cloth? So we'll do that. And then what I'm doing is I am setting it aside to dry. The sticky side is up. This disinfectant um, wipe really helps bring back the sticky. If you peel, if you find that you've used it for like, maybe you've used it like a good five to 10 times and it's not as sticky as it used to be, while it's dry right here and you wanna use it, take a disinfectant wipe, wipe all around it, set it over here, let it dry, air dry, it will be more sticky than it was before. Um, it, I don't know what it is, but it, it is awesome. Now I'm not scrubbing. Just so you can see, I'm just gently wiping. I'm not even like pushing down with like a finger or anything. I'm just gently doing this. And I'm just gonna let these sit. I can set, let, let them sit here and dry maybe 15 minutes. Or when I have the bigger ones, I have some like cookie trays, the cookie dry, cooling racks, you know what I'm talking about? I use those. Um, there's all kinds of things you can use then I can use this to wash my tools and everything. It's really, really easy. Once these are dry, I'm gonna take my transfer backers, and that's why I wrote on them. This one was for Tropical Vibes. So once I'm done, I will stick the backer right back on it. I'm gonna put it back into its um, case, or not case, its packaging, and I, I store it like that. So super easy, um, very reusable, so your, you know, <clears throat> maybe how much these cost, like a dollar. Um, the whole thing for 12 transfers is $14.99. So you get many, 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 many uses out of it. So you can be creating for a very long time with this type of thing. Christmas presents on picture. Oh, yes, 100%. I have done a ton of those. Yeah, okay. Miss my question. I probably did. I think I saw on someone else's YouTube that they said they had a separate oven as not to release bag oven. So here's the thing, Jeannie. That was flying around there for a really long time. And I did extensive research and found out that the paint used on tumblers is food grade um, powdered paint. Mm -hmm. Safe for using with food and beverages or they can't use it. So if you used um, like automotive powdered paint, that's not food grade. And when you heat that powder onto metal to, to bake it um, initially, it releases chemicals. So they use these ovens that are not allowed to be used to cook food in after that because those particles get into the air. This is food grade um, paint. So you're not going to have the same chemicals. 
So that's my extensive research on that. But I, I heard the exact same thing and then I got worried and I wanted to make sure that wasn't true. And um, yes, so there you have it. How do you dry them quickly? These, you're talking about this? So our fuzzing cloth on the other, so it's two-sided. This is the terry cloth side, the side with the tag, okay? That's your fuzzing side. I'm gonna unzoom for just a minute so that you guys can see more of what I'm doing. But the other side is microfiber, so very, very little to no lint. You're gonna take your transfer and literally dry it off and it's already super sticky again. But if it was wet, I would dry it off on here. This is so sticky that I'm gonna flip it over and put the backing back on it because it is already dry. And I always line my backer up to my transfer because it just makes it easier instead of lining up. This one, see this is a little wet still, so I can wipe it off on here and then put my backer back on it. Oops, it's so sticky. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not lining it up very well. So doing stuff like this on camera makes me crazy because I could do it at home in like one super easy, one fell swoop. Yay, yes, that is Jeannie, it is good to know. Um, I just so happen to love inclusive, like I have this whole um, space down here for my like studio shop and I have everything I need down here. So I have a little, um, toaster oven. What did I, what do you call it? It's a toaster oven and I use it to bake my stuff. That way I don't have to go upstairs with it. I don't have to do anything. Um, unless it's big. So like I've done, like I said, I've done like big, oh, you can't see me. Good gravy. I've done like big <laughs> cookie jars and I've taken those up to the big oven to do, but most of those are just plain glass. And that was before I even knew about the other stuff. Okay. If you are new to me, I want to just tell you three things and I have really good news for you. Here's the good news. One, <laughs> I found out that um, I had some wrong information. I know, go figure. But you can join Club Couture right now for $19.99 a month, you wouldn't pay anything until June 5th because you wouldn't, you'd be subscribing starting in June. But if you join right now, you'll have access to the club exclusive sale that's going on on our website. Um, club Couture is a really, really, really great way to try out um, the product. You get for $19.99 a kit in a box that comes to your door. You get a, a B size transfer, which is the size that I just showed you, the, the eight and a half by 11, and three chalk paste colors. Now those colors are single, um, they're called singles. They're like packets. I have some right here that I can show you. They are this size, like a ketchup packet, but they have um, quite a bit of paste in there. And so you can do multiple projects with this, especially if you're getting an eight and a half by 11 transfer. So you get three different colors. You'll never get white. You'll always get colors. So, and then you'll also get an exclusive video to teach you how to create something with that. Um, but of course you can be creative and do your own thing too. So that's $19.99 a month. When you subscribe, you um, agree to three months of it. And so it'd be $19.99. And guess what the best part is? Free shipping. There's, I mean, like, other than Amazon, okay? Amazon excluded. You have to do a lot to get free shipping these days. Like, order $100, get free shipping. No. 
free shipping, the transfer, the chalk paste, and the videos and directions. So that's awesome. Um, other than that, if you're totally new and you are not inside my Chalk Nation VIP Cafe, you're going to want to get in there because I'm gearing up for a sale. I'm very excited to announce. Don't have a date yet, but I'm getting ready to do this. Um, we're going to do an album sale. So I'm going to um, get all of the stuff that I have in stock and we're going to put an album sale and it's going to be a good one. So that's coming up this May. And I also do all kinds of fun stuff in there. It's my own little group. I love to do little giveaways and things. Just type in add me if you are not inside that group and you'd like the link to join. So if you want the link, type add me. If you are curious of what it's like to be a designer or me being me and doing my thing, like what it's all about, and you just want to kind of like peek in, I have a group where you can get in there and watch a video and just kind of like hear about it or watch about it watch about it huh. never said that before you could watch about it um, it's not really what I meant to say but oh well let's go with it type join in the comments and I'll give you the link so it's just you're gonna opt in I'm not gonna make you do anything you just can check it out so um those only come with paste correct the reason they only come with paste at this point. We don't have the single use inks. And also, paste is really our like flagship product. Is that a way to say it? It's our big, it's our big thing. Um, ink is like, hey, guess what else you can do? Oh, and by the way, you could also use etching cream. Have you guys used etching cream on glass? Oh my gosh, you can use that with our transfers as well. I haven't done one of those projects in a while. Maybe I should do one of those um, coming up. But anyway, um, yes. Yeah. So go ahead and type that stuff in the comments and I will get with you as soon as I can. Um, sometimes stuff is glitchy and it takes me a little while to see your comment to comment. Like I can see it here, but I can't reply to you. Even if you want to click on me and send me a private message, and then I can get right back to you like ASAP. But um, anyway, it's been fun tonight. We had a really good time. It's 10.07. <sighs> 5.30 comes early. And but I'm very excited tomorrow, Friday. Friday. So um, I think we even have Friday. I think I even have it off. So I'm hoping to be back here tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time. But I'll be back here this weekend. At least once or twice um probably doing some more talking i have some big projects to do but i just didn't have time tonight to do that so we did some of what i would say is a quick and easy project it really is let them dry and then i'll bake them and i'll show them off okay tgif tomorrow you all have an amazing friday and i thank you so much for watching you guys have an awesome rest of your night